Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. So yeah, it's been a fair amount of time since we've done any video uploads and today's just gonna kind of be a uh, refresh of some older lessons we have and uh, we have a lot of our students working with Blender right now for the first time in Media Design 910. So we thought we'd make a nice little introduction video to kind of get you going on that. Excellent, okay. So we have my basic startup scene here in Blender. And the first thing we're going to do is learn the basic navigation commands in Blender. There are three navigation commands. If I roll the mouse wheel, it'll zoom in and out. If I press and hold the mouse wheel, it'll orbit around our object. And then if I press shift and middle mouse button, it will pan the camera. Excellent. Make sure you take a second, pause the video and give that a try now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn the three basic manipulation commands we have in Blender. So the first one, if I click on my cube here, and you can see it's been selected because it has a orange box. If I click somewhere else, it deselects. But the first basic manipulation command is the grab tool. So if I press G for grab, I can freely move our object around the scene. I can either click to place, or if I got G for grab, I can hit escape to cancel. Excellent. Now what's really important when working in Blender is locking your manipulation commands to one of the three axes. And we do that by pressing the appropriate button. So for example, if I press G for grab, I can then press X and it'll only move on the X axis or I can press Y or Z. Excellent. Let's learn the next manipulation command now and that is the scale tool. I can hit S for scale and then I can scale it on the X, Y or Z axis. Excellent. The last manipulation command is rotate. Shortcut key is R. So I press R, I can free rotate or I can rotate it on the X, the Y, or the Z. Excellent. Um, so now that we've learned the basic manipulation commands, let's do our first little mini project here. So I'm gonna press A to select everything, and I'm gonna hit delete to remove all my objects. So we're gonna make a, 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 st a simple a snowman scene here, very much like we did when we were first learning Illustrator. So I'm gonna bring up the add menu. To bring up the add menu in Blender, we press shift A, and I'm gonna add a new icosphere. I'm gonna grab it on the Z, and then I'm gonna duplicate this icosphere by pressing Shift D and move it up on the Z, scale it down, duplicate that one with Shift D, press Z to move it up on the Z and scale it down. Excellent, we now have a simple three-tiered snowman. Um, let's create a slightly more complicated shape. Let's make a little basic top hat for our snowman so it can come to life. I'm gonna press Shift A and I'm gonna add a cylinder and I'm gonna grab that on the Y and scale it on the Z. Excellent. Then I'm gonna make another cylinder here with Shift A, grab it on the Y, oops, grab it on the Y, grab it on the Z, and scale it down. Looking good, and then I'm gonna take this bottom cylinder here, duplicate that with Shift D, grab it on the Z, and now scale it down to kind of create the ribbon brim of our hat. Excellent. That's not great, let's just scale that one a little bit more on the Z. Grab it up on the Z there. That's looking a little bit better. So I'm gonna do a click drag box to select this entire hat. Grab it on the Y, grab it on the Z, scale the whole hat down, grab it on the Z, grab it on the Y. And then let's rotate it a little bit on the X to give us a slight little jaunty angle there. And he's wearing it just slightly askew. I'm liking that, it's looking good. Excellent, the first part of our project is done. Now you're gonna to wanna to go in and add some eyes, some buttons, some arms, maybe barooms, or kind of whatever you wanna to do to make this scene complete. But the next thing I wanna talk about is adding color to our scene. And when 3D modeling, when we're adding solid colors, we call those materials, okay? So what first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one of the snowballs here. Then over here on the properties menu, I'm gonna click on the material properties window, okay? And you can see we have no materials here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna add a new material. Now I'm gonna get you to ignore almost everything in here. All we're gonna change right now is the base color. So I'm gonna click on base color and I'm gonna make it something very garish, like a nice green or something like that, just so you can see. But we have a problem. Our snow uh, snowball here, our bottom snowball, isn't actually changing green. And here's why. Blender has four main view modes. And we can access those view modes by either clicking on these little circles up here at the top of the screen or by pressing Z uh, inside of our main window here. The first of the view modes is wireframe, and uh, that's exactly what wireframe is. Press Z again. The next one is solid. Solid is the de mm -hmm. default view mode. That's what we're working in. The next view mode is material preview. 
Uh, that's excellent, so we can see our terrible green there. And the final view mode is rendered mode, and that's what it shows you what like with real-time lighting. Now, we don't have any lights in our scene because we deleted them, but we'll talk about that in a future lesson. So for now, I'm gonna go back to material preview, and I'm gonna change this uh, to a just a, a white color here for the snowman. Uh, and then I'm just gonna make all of our snowballs that exact same color. And now I'm gonna make the top hat. So we're gonna add a new material there and we'll make this one a lot darker. Uh, we're gonna make the brim that same color by clicking on the little uh, material icon there. And then for the stripe, we're gonna click a new and we're gonna make a slightly darker stripe. Excellent, looking good, ready for a night on the town. Um, but uh, that's all for today. It's good to be back. Uh, our goal is to make uh, a few more videos this uh, school year. And, uh, um, and we will uh, see you in class. Have a great day. Bye-bye.